there's a bit of weight in that. So typical these things happen at the least convenient time. Whoa, there's a bit of weight in that. <laughs> it's a big swarm, because there's not much to these branches. No. That's the way, fill that air with Nazanoff. Now, where is she? I'm looking for the queen. It's so obvious when you finally see her. They're all marching back this way. They tend to walk uphill. They'll go into the box, even if the queen's not in there, but won't necessarily stay in there. There she is right there, trying to go into the box. She's got the longer abdomen, but what they do before they swarm, they'll, they put her on a reduced diet to slim her down so she can fly longer wow. distances. Sometimes, you know, that doesn't work and <laughs> she can't fly that far. Typically they'll, they'll fly out, usually it's 20 or 30 metres, maybe 50 metres. She'll land in the tree and then they'll cluster around her in a big ball. It's called, it's called a bivouac. Then from that big ball they send out scout bees looking for a place to move. They, they would be checking out multiple locations. So ultimately if you get a swarm in your house, it's unlucky <laughs> because they've, they've got quite a lot to choose from, but it's not uncommon at all. No. Come on, girls, in the box. They're all slowly marching in there, but they're taking, taking their time. Let's use this dustpan as a nice little bee scoop to quicken my job. The old hive at the moment's probably got queen cells in it. Before, that, before this queen leaves, she will have laid out, there'll be lots and lots of cat brood. Like, it'll be laid out chock-a-block full of brood. And over the next week or two, all that brood hatches out. And you go back in in a week's time into that hive and you'll barely know that, you, you wouldn't even know that it's swarmed. So what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave this here now. Now that we've got the queen, they, they'll all go into the box. Even if they take off, <laughs> they'll come back. I'm pretty sure that that's the mother queen and there's only one queen in here. So I'm smoking now, but I never smoke until I catch the queen because mass her pheromone and she is the key to, to getting them all in the box. So it works quite nicely, it's just a little herding technique. But seeing the rain is coming, let's get a lid on this box. Well, I'll just let them do their thing now. 